So by this point, most people probably know about the ongoing saga involving the Rick and Morty co-creator and lead voice for both titled characters Justin Roilands. The allegations against the producer are not pretty as he is facing a long list of abuse accusations. With that, it should be noted that he has yet to be found guilty and the case is still underway. But some of the accusations are extremely serious. It was first reported a few weeks ago that Roilands had prior charges against him that involved domestic battery and false imprisonment. The Gamer reported on this story and stated in their piece covering everything. Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland, who also voices many of the characters on the show including its two leads, is facing charges for a felony count of domestic battery with corporal injury and one felony count of false imprisonment by menace, violence, fraud and or deceit. NBC News reports that Roiland was charged with felony domestic violence in Orange County, California, and that the incident allegedly took place in early 2020 from an anonymous woman that Roiland was dating at the time. The criminal complaint was filed in May of the same year by the Orange County District Attorney, with Roiland being charged that month. Roiland was then arrested and released on a $50,000 bond in August 2020 and arraigned in October 2020. Based on this it is clear that this whole incident happened over two years ago but the reason why most people are only hearing about this now is that the case is still ongoing and might even be heard in front of a jury. Although Roylands has maintained his innocence and will have his day in court to try and prove it, due to the number of court cases, it was eventually made public. It is unclear how this story has stayed under wraps for this long but many closer to the case are claiming that journalists have been investigating this story for years now but because of Justin's wealth and fame, he was able to keep it under wraps up until now. It is not uncommon for cases like this to be pushed away for a long period of time before people of the public is made aware of everything, but many are still wondering what took so long. Famous Hollywood creep Harvey Weinstein got away with his bad behavior for years while most within the industry knew about it before people finally started taking notice of everything. While Roiland might not be on that level as far as we know, it is just worth pointing out that people get away with bad stuff for a very long time. The Gamer does continue in their article though saying, the documents also reveal that a protective order was filed in October 2020, which said that Roiland is not to harass, threaten, surveil, or go within 100 feet of the person named in the protective order, who is currently unknown. Roiland was also made to turn any firearms that he possessed. The order is active until October 2023. According to Roiland's attorney, a plea offer has been made available to Roiland, although details on what that might include were not revealed. Currently, most of the details of the case, including body camera footage, police reports, medical reports, recordings of interviews, and more are all being kept from the public thanks to a protective order. Right now it might still be unclear exactly how all of these charges are going to play out but it does seem pretty serious. It should be noted though that these charges against Roiland are not the only claims that have been made. He has also been accused of abuse by other people including allegedly some who were underage. Now, unlike the domestic abuse cases that went to court, these allegations were made on Twitter so everything does become a little bit more complicated. The Gamer continuing their coverage of the story stated, Further allegations of abuse have been made against Rick and Morty co-creator, Justin Roiland, following details of his arrest and upcoming court appearance on charges of battery and false imprisonment being made public yesterday. Multiple fans of Roiland's work are accusing the writer of predatory behavior, with some alleged incidents taking place when they were minors. This is on top of the claim that multiple journalists had been investigating Roiland's alleged behavior for years, with one writer commenting that he only avoided a accountability due to his wealth. After news of his 2020 arrest on charges of domestic battery and false imprisonment was made public yesterday, dozens of further allegations have been made. Some of the alleged victims say that they were minors when Roiland first approached them, claiming that he used his status as the co-creator of Rick and Morty to reach out to child fans. A Twitter user was among the first to share their story, saying that they were groomed by Roiland when they were 15. They had initially made this claim in November of last year, sharing a lengthy account of how they met Roiland, and how he allegedly began making making sexually charged remarks when they were still a minor. Another Twitter user also shared their own experience with Roiland, including text messages allegedly sent by the Rick and Morty creator. Again, when these types of things are taken to Twitter, it can sometimes create a bit more of a complicated situation, but it is least worth pointing out that all of these allegations were made last year, long before this story broke and actually became big so just dismissing them outright would not be a fair thing to do. With that said, the aftermath regarding all of this has not been too kind to Justin as it is now being reported that he will be removed from the show Rick and Morty. It is still
still a little unclear if he will stay on in his other show Solar Opposites, although logic will dictate that he will not. Kotaku in their article stated the main voice behind Rick and Morty won't be returning in Season 7. Adult Swim announced on Tuesday that it would cut ties with series co-creator Justin Roiland, a decision that comes just weeks after news first surfaced that he was facing two felony domestic abuse charges from 2020. Adult Swim has ended its association with Justin Roiland, the Rick and Morty account tweeted today. Rick and Morty will continue. The talented and dedicated crew are hard at work on season 7. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Royland's voice roles will be recast and Dan Harmon will remain the sole creator through season 10. Now, this is another interesting statement. The fact that the lead voice and co-creator of the show are leaving will undoubtedly result in a massive hole being left behind. The next season of Rick and Morty will most likely be the last as it is going to be hard moving forward. I think they might be able to find another voice actor for Rick and Morty and most might not even be able to tell the difference, but replacing Roylands as a show creator might be much harder to do. As of right now it seems like they will try to continue with Rick and Morty and see how things go but it is very likely that the next season of the show is probably going to be the last.